Oh, welcome back. So we've explored all of those. It's time to go over this way. Let's go. So how's everyone today? I'm getting close to my backlog so I can take the rest of the week off, but I need to finish off a recording in tomorrow's, and then I'll be covered. Like, I technically don't need to worry about it, because today's will cover me for the Monday, but that means I would have to record. Ooh! World map! Nice! Click in the world map, navigate your party. The Forgotten Sanctum has been installed. You will automatically begin the first quest of this venture when you receive a visitor upon the high seas after having progressed far enough through pillars of th to access the Forgotten Sanctum. Okay, so DLC Seeker, Slayer, Survivor has been stored. You will automatically begin the first quest of this venture when the steward contacts you after you have progressed far enough through pillars of attorney to dread for across the... Okay. So that's where we are. This is weird. Okay, it's a weird map, but it's fun. And it is can see a simple wagon, the angle at which it rests on the road, one side jutting above the other suggests that it has been damaged or disabled. And from your vantage, you can make our Kith milling around. The way Kith is you describe the dominant civilizations. Okay, uh, approach openly. If you knew the kite, you make out a group of red Syrian pilgrims in rough spun linens and cottons. A single draft horse stamps at the ground impatiently as two of the pilgrims argue over the front wheel, right wheel, which seems helplessly stuck in mud. One of the pilgrims notices you. You step. Back draws the attention of the others, and a man in well gorned Gaberson steps forward. The weight of deep concern hangs on his face. Too. The dreams bring you here as well. The other pilgrims look at you. It's a mix of and I'm following Atheos. The older pilgrim's mouth open in amazement. You hear a grasp from another, they look at each other, excitement in their eyes. Praise him, the old man cries out. We are not alone. We have the dreams too. We saw the three stars sailing through the sky, piercing the black of the, a storm cloud. Figured it must be human if he was calling to us, so we came here to a place we saw in our dreams. The pilgrims look ahead, matching their sleeping memory to the present. We saw the giant pass with three stars on his brow, but he sighs and gestures the wagon stuck in the mud, sad to say we could not follow him. Will's stuck, as stuck gets, none of us are strong enough to lift that corner up to get something under it. More than one of us tries, and we'll just get in each other's way. The auto program nod and stretch, suddenly remembering their aching bodies. We're going to inspect. We're not going to threaten, because we're a paladin of good standing. Brief inspection reveals that the wagon is undamaged and the wheel is stuck fast in the mud. We have some wood, the old man says as he gestures to the back of the wagon, if we can get the wheel up, we can slide that near with it. Into the wagon you see several planks of wood, a small box of variables sits to the side. One of the young dawn stars look at you, eyes wide, attempt to lift. Uh, you'll do it. Either squares themselves to the wagon's corner, squat steep and rest the wheel up. From the mud with a grunt, a young Donzo stands in shock for a moment, reacting just in time to thrust a thick board beneath the wheel. It takes the better part of an hour to lay down a safe path for the wagon to roll free. The mud, the labyrinth, Donzo is close on the with sweat, but laugh happily as they sing songs of praise to Ethos. So we re rolled a 15. Okay. Two hours pass. Smiling, the presses a small pouch of coins into your hand. We appreciate the help. Without you, who knows how long we would have been stranded out here. They begin to prepare their wagons to take your leap. 
as you take your leave. You've gained Fenning, so 15 silver. Cool. The old man calls out to you as you go. Take care of yourself and your soul traveller. Whether you come for Ethos or not, we know in our hearts that he's come for us. Oh, he has. He's taken souls. Uh, let's go south. Inns of multiple purposes and can be found throughout the different and then you can uh, store your inner room, recruit adventurers and so on. And crew members retain characters and manage your parties. Certain rooms will give a resting bonus. Okay. And this place doesn't actually have recruitment. Reputation. Press the thing and the thing to get yeah, okay. That's two, that's one level above us. There's the port. I'm circling around at the moment. I kind of want to explore the map. Burial site. You, okay, so on a large stone slab is catching the old earth bones in a collection of urns. Search the location. Two hours have passed. Pyrite. Okay. Keep searching. Three hours pass. You've gained scepter. Is that a mace? It's a scepter. Continue. You're on my street, but there's nothing left. Okay. I like the time mechanic. Okay. Safe radius, the base here of what's effect of many spells can be increased by intent thing, the growth resentment by the second larger targeting circle characters, and the large area of the effect are safe from an ally's hostile strikes. Oh, okay. So if you're in the enlarged area, you don't want to be you don't want to be in the first layer, you want to be in the second. Gotcha, gotcha. I like the feel of it. I like the... I know we've only done, like, one battle. Or, well, more than one battle, but, like, one big major battle with multiple people that we controlled and so on. But I enjoyed it. Deep spring. Let's see what that crowd's about. What if the giant comes this way? Please, everyone stay calm. The man at the center of attention appears to be fielding cries from both the gaggle of townsfolk gathered around the platform and rather severe looking uh, a moy woman standing just beside him, so her. Please. Everyone remain calm. I assure you I will do everything in my power to get you the answers you need. Our friends among the Huana have offered you hospitality and safety from the storms. No one folds her arms. Yes, yes. I think we are all keenly aware of the debt of gratitude we owe to the... I have personally seen to the safety of your homes. Now you will do the same for our families. <laughs> what about our families? What about the ships? How are we supposed to feed ourselves? If everyone would... Swoops across the crowd, it falls upon you where it remains. A few more heads turn to see that he is... What has caught the governor's attention. One of the pirates. I am not a pirate. Everyone stay calm. I think it's clear our guest is nothing of the sort. Two of my guards reported a ship 
flying deer wooden collars. Fallen prey to a private vessel. That would be your ship, I assume. Quite somewhat at that, though you still find yourself a target of a few guys. That would make him lucky. Your own vessels do not usually fare so well. Bland curiosity? Wow. Quite. Circumplanca, everyone, forgive me. I believe this matter requires my attention. You have my word that I will keep you apprised of any changes. Especially you, Mr. Ekawa. Do not flatter me with Valian titles. You are distracted with your newcomer and wish me gone. But I will not go far, Governor Clario. Geralde, as for you, stranger, let us speak at my estate. We'll discuss your predicament. <laughs> Okay. You have to do something. Any of us could be next. Oh? I cannot imagine who might wish to harm you, Master. Okay. Henrik, who are you? Here you find civilization, Aimiko. But outside these walls, the jungle will eat you alive. That is, uh, unless you prepare yourself, ne? <laughs> A wise and prudent decision. Okay. So we'll go to the stash. Anything that we want to sell. Ooh, at the club. It's not right. I came here on the first ship. Why does an islander get paid the same as I? Uh, speaking in his estate, so that's his estate. You, and they all come. So we want to go over here. What marvelous carving! Oh yes, this one is many centuries old, blessed by Ngati herself. Magnificent! Okay. All right. I'll take care of this. Ah, yes, there you are. As governor and under the auspices of the Valian Trading Company, please allow me to officially welcome you to Port March. Spirit and a subdued flourish. Um, an outward-looking mercantile order from the Valian Republic. The 30,000 employees are tasked with deadly and profits to the homeland's investments in the dead. In the dead fire, this means refining and exporting luminous Adra in enormous quantities, and the port is where we are. And it's the oldest colony. Okay. Apologies for that little drama outside. These are confusing times, and people often react poorly to uncertainty. <laughs> Between the storm, the pirates, and the, well, certain strange events, we are all a little on edge. 
A few, well, quite a few people here in Formage claim to have seen a giant of some kind. He wins the store. Okay. I would call it a flight of fancy, but unless something has tainted every well in the region, I do not think it can be ignored. But then, the Deadfire is a land full of such things. You must have heard the stories. You'll find good company among the Dawn Stars here in town. They have all manner of theories concerning the behemoths. <laughs> now, to the matter of your ship. You're stranded, are you? It was a rough landing by all reports. Unfortunately, our own ships are in no condition to sail. We've had dealings with the pirates ourselves. They've taken their share of supply ships. The storm saw to those berthed in the harbor. All that said... I believe I may have a solution, provided you're willing to help me in turn. My lord, I can't. <laughs> no, I'm not going to use that. Um. Hmm. Two. Indeed. Which means I can spare you, whereas I cannot spare the guards. I have the guards on the lookout for pirate vessels looking to take advantage of whatever damage the storm caused. We've cannons enough to see them off, but I need every man ready to use them. There is a site of some considerable value elsewhere on the island. A value to the trading company, you understand? The Adramites. In fact, it's the very reason any of us are here. You're familiar with the luminous Adra trade? Are you indeed? How very interesting. Do you know, they'd have a great deal of interest in speaking with you at headquarters. Something to consider. Nah, fuck you. Well, luminous Adra is to Adra what a fine wine is to... Uh, well, never mind that. The point is that it is a particularly potent material, suffused with essence, and it is only found right here in the Deadfire Archipelago. I keep thinking it's Dreadfire, but maybe because I'm just... want Dread. <laughs> Deadfire. It's also quite valuable. When refined... It sells for considerable sums. The trading company has invested a lot of time and money into locating sites suitable for mining and processing. That's a, a colorful way of putting it. Energy really is more apt. It's not quite a matter of digging up the spirit of your old grandmother. <laughs> we... And I hope you understand that these matters require some discretion. Have one such outpost on the other side of the island. A successful venture, up until very recently. We sought to improve the refinement process. To that end, we hired some of the brightest minds in the field of animancy and brought them out here to lend <sighs> their expertise. And then one evening, a storm rolls in out of nowhere, and my scouts begin to report that the giant has marched its way across the island towards my dig site. What am I to make of that? We haven't heard from Mestre Odorisi since, nor any of his assistants, or the workers. I must know what has happened. If Odorisi, if his work is lost, then everything that we have worked for is at risk. Which is where you come in. You need a ship. I need information. See to this for me, and I'll set half the town to work. We'll patch up your ship, and you'll be free to go on your way. Why, take his report on the situation, and remind him that he's under certain contractual obligations. And relay my deep relief at his good health, of course. Mm. The Huana storm speakers 
should have kept the worst of the weather at bay. I can't imagine what else might have happened. There are wild beasts on the island, but they wouldn't have attacked an active dig site. Well, if Aeothis happens to strike down the council, perhaps then I will have time to spare for him. <laughs> <laughs> do not, please do not repeat that. We each have our debts. Whatever you believe is going on, you can see it for yourself. That is precisely what I want. Yeah, we can do it. Hila, then we are agreed. I will assign men to keep watch over your ship. You will find the dig site on the eastern side of the island. I'll mark it on your map here. One more thing. If you should recover Odorisi's notes, know that they would be of great value to me. Uh-huh. Okay, um... Loading! Loading! Yeah, let's Let's run down there. Ah. Port shop. You can, okay, while on the city map you can select to use the port shop and resupply your ship. No, you want to leave on foot. Actually, we can go the street. Hmm. Well, we go on foot. Yep. Whee! That's cool. Yeah. Oh. Where's the dig site? Aha. Uh -huh. Go to the pass first, because we've got to get through it. Uh, the trouble before you seem to sit by erratic tracks. The sparse plants to intimidate sides of both of them. Right, mate. Sugar mace, let's search the area. Who's got the best perception? You do. It would make sense the chaos. Then the monument. No blood spiders against it. It was not a fight, and your compatriot easily identifies the crawl. Claude Prince of... Okay, the tracks seem recent. Continue. A dry and ropey vine has been pulled, torn across the path, and completely covered in dirt. Beyond a group of road figures cr cringe and cower at a nearby river bend. Each is frozen in place, ashen and grey, like statues. Uh, that's mechanics, right? We'll circumvent the tram. You leave a well-traveled path and pick up your way through the wilderness, eye searching ahead for additional traps. Your series of quiet chirps and grants ahead and make you and it's more fun through. Uh sneak closer and observe. You creep closer, potting the grass for a better view, a handful of Zerups, I think. Or X Yeah, Zerups, I think is how it sings. Hiss and snap at each one of the shaking the spears in the things. So they stand over an apparent source of the argument, a small pile of loose stolen from other travellers ambush and attack. You go forward, drawing your weapon. Okay, and if one gets knocked out in combat or is a mishap in a scripted interaction, they will suffer an injury injuries because of variance of negative effects, and if a character suffers more than three of them, can even be found eating food while resting. We'll solve that issue, I think, is the rest of the thing.
Hey. I'm on it. I'm here. Shot them. Okay. Not flanked yet. Move this way. Of course. Hmm. Okay. How's his health? His health is still looking good. I'm here. Good hit. Oh. Yes. What do you need? Stay behind me. Okay. Yeah, we showed our back, so I'm that here. makes sense. What do you need? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Boom! Stay behind me. I'm here. Bam! I'll take it. Collect. Okay. Have we settled the the pass? Yes. Come on. Ale. Rice, milk, milk, ooh. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and in the next episode we'll enter the dig site. Till th but, till then, I'll see you guys. Later. Bye-bye.